Good morning everybody, it's uh, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, December 5th, the 5th day of Vlogmas. So I'm getting ready to take Rafi to school. We ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go. Come on, we gotta go. We're gonna be late. My watch is always on. Ah. Okay, so I dropped Rafi off at school. We're rushing a little bit because we were starting a little bit late. Not really late, but just we were cutting it close. He was on time though. So, now, I'm headed to Big Lots, but not the Big Lots that I went to yesterday. I'm going to one that's a little bit further away because I, I don't remember if I told you I was looking for, I have the pillows for the couch. I have um, the two silver pillows that have the snowflakes, and then I have the two littler pillows that say Believe on it, but they also have a pillow that has like a silver deer, deer or reindeer, um, on the, on, on it. It's just right in the center. Well, I want to wear those because I think it would look good to have one just in the middle of the couch there. I have enough room for probably just one there. So I wanted one, but my store doesn't have any and online they even said they are sold out. So I called around some different big lots and I found one that has two left. So I'm going to go to that store and get them. And um, it's about it's about 25 minutes away, so just a little bit further. But it's not too, too far. So I dropped Rafi out of school, off at of school, and now I'm gonna go there real quick. Brad's still home, asleep. So um, I figured I'd go ahead and do this real quick, get this out of the way. So what I've been trying to do too with the pillows is when people come over, I try to take them off or I'll tell them, you know, you can just move them out of the way. That way they don't sit on them and cause then it gets, they get smashed. Because I had two camp or two pillows that I um, got a big lots for the fall and those got kind of smashed because people sat on them and everything and they didn't move them so now I figure if people are sitting on them I'll just say you know you just push them out of the way that way or I'll push them out of the way before they come or whatever just so they don't get so smashed um, like the other ones did because they are cheaper so they're not you know as good as a quality as the other ones are but I mean for that price I think they're pretty good so so comment below what do you all do when you have a lot of decorative pillows on your couch. I know a lot of people have that now, so do you move them when people come over or you tell them, can you please move them out of the way or you, do you just let them sit on top of your pillows and smash them? I'm just curious because I feel kind of bad if I'm saying, oh, can you not sit on my pillows? Please move them out of the way. But at the same time, I kind of want them to see how nice they look when they come over. So I don't I don't really want to move them off the couch before they come over because then that defeats the purpose of, they, of the couch looking nice because they come over and I have no pillows on the couch. You know, I guess I could let them see them and then I could real quick move them out of the way so they could sit down or something. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, just kind of curious about that. Because I've never had a lot of pillows on the couch. I've only had like two on the sides and they've usually been just kind of simple pillows that I didn't really care much about so now that I'm having nicer pillows decorative pillows I don't want them smashed so bit like I eat. I don't want them smashed as much as I eat the old ones used to get okay so I'm here at Big Lots and they have the pillows actually have they have one there and they have like three more up here so they had, they said they had two, but they got more than two. And they have some different ones too. They have that one. That's kind of pretty too. Oh, they got more back there. Dang, they have a whole bunch. They need to send some to the other stores. Because I've called a lot of stores and they didn't have any of them. Not unless they just got more in or something. There's the pillow that I have. And they also have these pillows. 
Pops are kind of cute too. So they also have these placemats here and I like these placemats better than the ones I have. So I think I might get these. They didn't have these at my store. I think I might get these and then take the ones I have at home back to my store because I like these better. So I got my pillow and my placemats and I also got two um, white bath rugs because we have uh, our snowman decor in our bathroom but we have two two rugs that we used to have that have like snowman and stuff on them but they lost the um, what do you call that the rubber on the bottom of them that keeps them from moving they lost that so they like move slide all around the floor we had tried buying different little um, you can buy the little I forget what it's called the rubber that you stick on the bottom of there so they don't slide but that that doesn't really work that great either so and they're kind of old they've had them for a while so I wanted to get new ones. Um, we have a new shower curtain that has snowmen that we got last year or the year before, and then we still have our snowman little um, decorations we put on the sink and stuff, and those are still good. We, and we have a snowman toilet seat cover that's got a snowman on it. it used to light up, it doesn't light up anymore. But I mean, it still looks good. So we wanted to get two new rugs, so I thought I wanted to get white rugs, because we have brown ones in there right now. It doesn't match with the snowman, which is all white and light, light blue and white colors. So I wanted to get just white bath rugs to put on the floor for, to go with the Christmas decorations we have in there with the snowman. So I found two here. Uh, they were, I think it was $16, but you buy one, get one half off. So that made one for 16, the second was eight. So that made them like $12 each. So I'm trying to see, I don't know how much they are at Walmart. So I went ahead and got them here because I don't know if Walmart will have them cheaper for $12 each because I can't remember how much their bath rugs are there. I don't need anything fancy, just a simple white bath rug. So I'm going to look at Walmart and if they're cheaper than $12, I'll get them there and then I'll take these back to Big Lots close to where I live. So um, I did that just in case, but I mean, I don't know. Walmart might be just be a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure. They'll be cheaper than $12 each. Anyway, so then I went to check out and I called here before I came to make sure they have those pillows that I wanted before I drove out here and I checked out and the lady said oh you're the one that called I'm like yeah and I said I've been looking for those I said uh, the store I go to up north in Kansas City she, I said they're all out they don't have any of them she goes oh she goes are these your wife's favorites <laughs> I'm a, I just said yeah I didn't even say anything I mean I guess I could have just said no they're for me but she just assumes most guys won't be buying this kind of stuff for themselves Ah, oh, she only knew. Ah, oh, living in Missouri. Well, actually, I'm in Kansas now. I'm in Kansas City, Kansas right now. So it's Christmas time, and you know what that means. Christmas music. Dolls that we'll talk and we'll go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. Ah! Ha, 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 ha. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, Mr. Kringle is soon gonna jingle the bells that'll tingle all your troubles away. Everybody's waiting for the man with the bag, cause Christmas is coming again. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing a bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime and jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing of jingle bell swear. In the frosty air. It's a marshmallow world in the winter. When the snow comes to cover the ground, it's time for play. It's a whipped cream day. I wait for it the whole year long. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. So I just got home and got my pillow out. I really like it here just kind of adds to the whole pillow stuff I got going on there 
I like it so, and then I have my, we still have the sheets, that's from when we were painting and we were covering stuff up, so we kept those out here until we're all done with all our stuff. All the painting and everything. These are the new placemats too that I switched out for. I like these better. I like them. So I'm going to um, take the other ones back. I have them wrapped up. I still have my receipt, so I'm going to take those back and exchange them. And um, so now Brad and I are getting ready to go to. He has to get some hair product, and then we have to go to like Costco. We have to um, take some something back for Marco for his birth or Christmas that we got him that was the wrong size. We order online, so I have to take that back and switch it out. <clears throat> we might stop at Walmart. I think I need to get my hair trimmed real quick, so yeah, we're gonna get ready to leave and run all those errands. So I'm in the car <laughs> waiting for Brad. He's sweeping some stuff out up there. <clears throat> some leaves up. It's so cold today. It's so much colder than it was. It was like 70 yesterday, 72. It's 37 degrees right now. That is Missouri for you. <laughs> One day it'll be 72, next day 37. Oh, and the wind is so cold. I have this kind of hooded thing on, but I have my coat here too because I don't know if this is going to be warm enough for me. I don't want to have both those on. It's kind of bulky, but that's all right. We'll see if, how cold I get. You can say there's no first thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandma, we believe. Should we open up our gifts or send them back? Send them back! Okay, so we're at Costco. Look at our things that we need to get at Costco. So look at this bottle of wine. It's huge. It's only $100 and $108. They sell them in this big container here. I have this one here, it's only 59. It's a five liter. Those are kind of cool. I was looking for the holiday wax because I haven't done any kind of holiday better uh, Walmart wax small haul. All I could find was the firewood fur balsam. I like that one. And then I like the cypress and frankincense. I think this won't be big enough. That's pretty good. They have the holiday popcorn, cranberry holiday garland, whatever that popcorn, cranberry garland or something. That one's okay, but it just smelled like the cranberry ones that have been out before. The cranberry cookie kind of smelled like to me, so. I didn't get that one. I just got those two. They didn't really release that many new ones this year, so I don't even know if I'm going to do a haul. Usually I do a fall Walmart wax haul and a winter one. But I don't think I'm going to do a haul just for two wax melts, so I thought I'd show on the vlog here which ones I got. Because I did like those two, so I picked them up. But that's fine because I don't need more wax. I have plenty. And there's only three weeks to Christmas, so I don't have much time to melt it anyway. Oh, we found a cereal. It's a donut shop cereal. I have a chocolate donut and a pink donut. We may have to try those out sometime. But not right now, maybe in a week or two we'll try those out. Because I just did a cereal review today. We just got home from running some more errands after we got the boys from school. Peanuts laying in a little Gatorade box after we took Gatorade out. You like it in there, peanut? You like boxes, don't you? Is that like a little bed for you? Oh, yeah. She's just chillaxing in there. That's so funny. She loves boxes and bags and all that kind of stuff. Daddy? What? And wrapping paper. See, bring. I just sharpened that. And I gotta sharpen it again. Are you writing too hard or something? Mm -hmm. Ralphie's doing his uh, math homework. He got his spelling words all right. So he didn't have to write, if he gets the spelling words wrong, he has to write them like 
10 times, but then if it's like, if he keeps missing, keeps missing, we'll have him write like 15 no, to 20 times. No, I my new ones, I have to write them five times if there's, um. Uh -huh. If he's missed them more than. If they're really, really old, I have to write them. Every time, every time yeah. each one he gets them wrong. He drives them five first, but then he keeps getting them, keeps getting them wrong, five then he has to write them more. 15, 20. But he got them all right last night, and he got them all right again tonight, so he's doing good. So we're getting ready to have dinner. I have hat hair. I don't care. I took my hat off. I'm tired of having it on today. It's really hot, so you're going to have to let it cool off. We forgot to show you where uh, Chestnut was today. He's up in Peanut's tree. Thinks he's a cat today or something. So, funny story. Last night... Christy, yeah. Brad's sister, <clears throat> and our niece Kaylin, and uh, his nephew Jeffrey and his uh, fiance were over here for dinner. And we had my smoked birch candle going here on the table. <laughs> and it had some major puny wick syndrome going on. I mean, the wicks were super puny. I mean, you could barely, it was so puny, the flames, that you could barely tell it was lit. You know how sometimes it doesn't look like it's lit if you burn candles and the Bath and Body Works sometimes they get so puny the flames it doesn't even look like it's lit. Well I had the lid off here but she didn't think it was lit. She was sitting there eating. She didn't think it was lit because those flames were so puny she couldn't see them lit. So she went to lit, she grabbed the candle and it wasn't hot because the flames weren't that big so the candle wasn't even that hot. She went to go smell it and lift it up to her face and spilled wax all over her shirt. All down the front. All down the front of her shirt. Because she didn't think it was lit because it was the flames were so low. But it had wax melted in there of course. So she went to go smelt and whoop, the wax went all over her shirt. <laughs> oh that was funny. That's what happens when you got the puny I said you didn't think it was lit because they had puny wicks. PWS going on in there. And for some reason this one's been having major puny wicks in there. I don't know why. So it's do it did better last night after I cotton balled it a couple times and had to do a little surgery to get those flames up. So we'll see how it does tonight. So Mark will put lights all up in his room. <clears throat> Has them in his doorway here and then all up in his room. Oh, I thought it was on his light. <laughs> it looked like it was on his TV. It's not. It's just reflection. So yeah. He wanted them all in his room. I said it reminds me of Stranger Things in here now. You just need the letters on the wall. Oh, he has them down the floor too. Or down the bottom of the wall. Back here. So I forgot to show you my rugs that I bought for the bathroom. Those white rugs at Big Lots. I checked Walmart when we went to Walmart today and they, uh, they only had these, um, I think it was Better Homes and Gardens rugs, but they weren't as fluffy as these, and they didn't, I didn't like them as well. So they didn't have any other ones, so I just went ahead and kept these ones from Big Lots. But they look pretty good in here. They're just white rugs, kind of looks like snow. So we have our snowman uh, shower curtain with the snow, and then the our towels, and the snowman, and snowflakes all throughout here on the sink and stuff so um yeah I think it goes kinda good it just looks like snow on the ground alright guys that's the end of the vlog my hair's a mess I had a hat on today I need my hair cut we didn't have a chance to have bright coat today I'll get it cut sometime I was to decide to end the vlog with me tonight I know, I haven't edited it the last few nights. I don't think we've edited it at all yet since vlogging story. You pass out so early. I know, I was trying to get to bed by 10 tonight and it's midnight. 10? Yeah, I want to start being in bed at 10. I say that all the time and it never happens. Good luck with that. I'm doing good to get to bed by 2. It's 12.10 right now. I'm finishing editing yesterday's vlog. I only have like six minutes left to edit and I got to do the thumbnail and then do all the typing of the caption and all that fun stuff so um, yeah busy weekend as always mm -hmm. sometimes we're always so busy non-stop doing stuff on our days off especially at Christmas time there's so much stuff to do 
and now we have the house we've been re redoing so there's things we can do for that we're trying to clean up and trying to catch up on our mail i still have mail that i have to go through i haven't got the chance to do that yet i was supposed to do that on my days off and i didn't there's laundry still that i have to try to do I'm, I'm gonna try to do some of it tomorrow because i gotta do ralphie's laundry too tomorrow so i'll try to do one and then one and then one yeah. i usually don't do our laundry brett usually does our laundry and then i do the kids' laundry usually I, well a lot of times i'll start it but i don't get finished then you have to end up finishing it so you can get the kids laundry in there. I know. i'll start it but then i don't have time to finish it or it's still a little sitting in the dryer so okay we're going back to work tomorrow and then uh life would be easier if you were on days because then we don't wouldn't have just two days to get stuff done that sucks I, that I was so looking forward to going to days and i thought we could do more stuff like because i would get home by like i would i would have been working seven to three thirty i would have got home by four o'clock i don't have that whole evening to do stuff but now I mean, I either have to get up super early and do stuff before I leave 11.30 in the morning, which usually doesn't really happen. I mean, I can, but I, ugh, I just don't like getting up and doing all that stuff before I go to work 11.30. I need to try to just try to go to bed early so I can get up and do more stuff before I have to go to work. And then after I get off work, it's 9 o'clock at night, and it's just kind of late and, to do stuff. Even a lot of stores are closed. can't really do things that late at night, except I go to, like, a grocery store that's open 24 hours or something. So, go ahead and end the vlog. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all tomorrow for vlog list day number six. Good night. Good night, y'all.